Greetings, friend. Playing outward. Yep. Hardcore. Hardcore run. New Sirocco. We've got um, water purifier upgraded to the Fountain of Life. We've got just people in the settlement just bathing in it. Um, not with my permission. They just took it upon themselves to just lift their leg over the side and just go ahead and hop in. So it's a little bit upsetting. We've got Evangeline can give us instructions on the next thing. Speak with Evangeline about a better temperature control method. Here we go. Good timing. I've thought our temperature control problem through, and there's only one option better than Joseph's. You've seen the Ember Heart in the Eldest Brothers Basin, right? Oh, you mean the gigantic weird rock down near the bottom? Yeah, I've seen it. It's the reason we've been able to make such effective use of the volcano over the centuries. If we could somehow bring the Ember Heart here to New Sirocco, that would solve our temperature control problems completely. Moving it would take a whole lot of workers and some kind of metal wagon. We don't have the time or resources metal to put something like that together. And I don't want to owe Sorobor Academy any more than I need to. I have a different proposal. We can try asking the Jin. I need you to listen. About 40 or so years back, when that moving metal arc crawled onto our shores with a hold full of Caligrays, there was a creature that called itself a Jin at the, at the helm. I still don't know where they all came from. It's no country I've ever heard of. Here's what we need. The Get Jin is a strange creature, endowed with great strength and magic, as well as near total immunity to heat and smoke. Okay, no fire varnish. If anyone can move the Ember Heart in a pinch like this, it's him. If he's the only shot we have, we've got to at least try, right? Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. He gets real ornery any time we've had to work anywhere near his oil refinery. The oil refinery? Actually, I haven't, I haven't hit that up this run yet. I doubt he'll cooperate. He only ever listened to the nobles and the Caligrees. He listens to the Caligrees? I agree that just demanding his help is likely to go poorly. He is close with the Caligrees, and our nobles captured and abused them the moment their vessel landed on our shores. He's got no love for humans. I know the nobles had an arrangement with the Jin. He supposedly feels at home with oil and smoke, so they gave him run of the refinery in exchange for access to the oil. He worked with them even after they abused his allies like that? They must have had some way to ensure he wouldn't go back on their deal. Finding out what that is might give you some leverage against him. If you can find a noble and make him talk, that might improve your chances. Where on Orion am I going to just scrounge up a noble? Perhaps. The Caligrees, they've made a sport of capturing any humans they come across and having them fight in their arena. They have an especially great hatred for the nobles in particular, now that those bastards have been flushed out into the wild. Here's what we need. Try any place where the Caligrees could hold prisoners. The, their arena, the mobile ark, anywhere they gather. With any luck. They'll have a noble somewhere. I wish I could be more specific, but this is all we've got to go on. So, there you are. Well, comforts, what do you need? Um, farewell. All right. Find a noble. Let's, um... What have we got in the bag? We got... Okay, our bag looks decent. Got our mining pick, harpoon. Let's fill up the pocket. Make even more room in the bag. Let's fill up on water. My water situation, I've got uh, sparkling water. Now let's get some healing water. So what I'll do is, let's go auto walk. I'll empty one of these. Let's see, I'll use one. Get the stamina going, then I'll empty that. And then gather it. Oh, did that guy leave? Oh, he got out. He left the fountain. Oh, and this guy's not maintaining it anymore. I see, they must have...
for the upgrade, they must have still been there. And then they cleared out at, at the day's end. That worker here, that supervisor, just felt like he had to get in it, if, you know, before he walked off the job. Oh yeah, and then there's a clear path here. There, there was scaffolding or something right here, wasn't there? Interesting. Okay, so I've got... I thought I gathered it. Oh no, I didn't. Healing water. I kind of want to gather maybe one more, and then one more. One more stamina. Perfect. Alright, and then before we set off to try to find the noble, I'm going to go to the stash and just make sure to streamline the bag. Make sure we're doing okay. Stow things away that don't need to be hauled. Okay. Mining pick, want that. Never wear the Pearl Bird mask anymore, but gotta have it. Okay. The full water skins actually weigh a bit, one and a half. Hmm, hmm let's see. Oh, I've got some samples. No wonder my bag's overweight. And some obsidian. We'll keep these here, just... 0 .1. 0 .1 weight. They're not hurting anyone. Can I make a fire varnish? We've got smoke root. What's our wine situation? We've got, a, we've got some wine. Perfect. I've got some Ambrain. That's all the Ambrain we have. Let's get rid of the rags, come on. Alright. What's our durability? Oh, it's bad. It's quite bad. It's quite poor. Let's get these things identified. So there you are. Let's see about those mineral samples. Wonderful. News. Diamond dust, okay. At least it wasn't stones. There's traces of some very rare mi minerals here. So there's some plant samples. To plant there. samples. I see. Wonderful news. We'll take vines. I feel like I always get that. Well, let's get to work. I wish someone would repair my equipment so I wouldn't have to sleep. Those are fine. Six hours. Probably gonna leave us in the dead of night. Who knows what time it is. We can travel at night. It's not a problem. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. Got health restoration over time because we have the water. So yeah, no need to bring along jerky. Let's sear some root. Precious healing water. Now I don't want to craft anything because of. I uh, want to save it for healing. I guess it's limitless though. I can just fill up at the purifier. Didn't want to jog all the way over there. Patience levels are waning. They're waning. Alright. Caligari Arena, the Ark. The Ark's right there. Let's see. The Ark's... Yeah, let's go to the Ark. 
Hit up the arc first, see what we got. Yeah, the refinery is the one dungeon I haven't gone through. I actually thought about it a couple episodes back, but then I thought, I knew this quest was coming, and I was like, well, let's just save it. Let's just save it for the quest. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Boreos? I'm just going to leave them be. Because I live in fear of them. Come on. Should have recognized my, my peaceful approach. Actually, is this a peaceful approach? Uh, I guess not. I can see why they got hostile. I thought the arc was farther away than that. It's in this spot? Okay. Okay, so... Come on, dude. Get up there. Let's go... Stamina water? Let's go Ambrane, too. Let's go. Mm. Bolt varnish. Oh. Nice. Oh, ha. What? Come on now. Thought I staggered him. Get the healing water going. Oh, this guy wants a piece. Actually, is lightning good against these guys? Oh, I think it's bad. Oh, dude. This is terrible. Let's go like this. Okay. Oh, my nuts. I'm just feeling the consequences. Good. Come on now. I'm trying to stagger this dude. Good. Man, that was terrible. That was just terrible. It doesn't bode well. Doesn't bode well for the episode. Let's use Marathon Potion. Okay, blessed boon. Good. Nice. Let's get smart about this. Come on. Don't be reckless. 
Don't grab greasy firm because great life is not a, is not a um, possibility at this point, really. Not considering it. Sellable recipe, leaving behind 10 silver, whatever that is. Good. Get smart. Nice. Left hand uppercut to the chin. Should have just used that, huh? Refresh it. Up the stairs. Oh, it does travel up. Okay. Come on now. Wow, this is sloppy. Nice. Incredibly sloppy play. Come on, stagger and an end in. Noble, Edward Orville. Hmm. I should get varnishes. Let the healing water do some work as well. What? Good. Nice. I don't need a varnish. Pretty sure that guy devolves into a Scarlet Emissary. In which case I need just my infused frost. Let's do that. You, explorer, let me out of here this instant before these primitive animals return. Well, you're clearly a Sirocco noble. We have something to talk about. We just met and I already dislike your attitude. Yeah, that, that's a good one, because I do dislike it. Oh, another ingrate who won't bow to authority. Perhaps we can make an exchange? My riches for my freedom. Would that please you, brute? Um, I want something from the djinn. How did you enforce your deal with him? The gin? You want to use it for something? Why should I tell you such a valuable secret? So you don't want me to free you? You'd rather stay at the mercy of the Caligres. Ah, uh, you thug. When those Caligres savages in this Ark first landed in the Caldera, we captured some of them. One of their elders was wearing a strange amulet, but no matter how hard we questioned them, we could extract no information. I mean, they don't speak our language, of course that wouldn't work. After much effort, one of our mages determined that it holds an anchoring spell. 
Even a non-mage holding it aloft and invoking it will prevent the djinn from fleeing or turning invisible. It can be used to hold him in place so he can be disciplined. We made a deal. The djinn has ownership of the refinery and the caligres he swore brotherhood to were set free. In exchange, he extracts oil for us. Any attempt to betray that deal would result in us using the amulet against him. And you're sure that it works? Have you ever tried to use it? Of course we did. Regretfully, none of our people were strong enough to bring him to heal in an environment where he naturally thrives. So we were at a stalemate. All we can do is irritate him with the amulet. Our agreement holds, but just barely. Where's the amulet now? I'm wearing it. I was on my way to try to speak with the djinn before I was ambushed. I was informed that we should make use of him. Having the djinn at our command would turn our desperate situation around and let us bring those spoiled rebels to heal. I'll be taking it then. I need the djinn to move the Ember Heart to the new settlement. Also, he was trying to get to the djinn too. You want to use it? To move the Ember Heart? to that quarry where those murderers are squatting? How could you side with them? The murderers and thugs, the whole lot of them. If they had just done as they were told, none of this would have happened. Uh-huh, and you guys bear no responsibility at all, I'm certain. You know, I really wanted to be sympathetic, but you're making it real hard. I don't know what to say. You guys have no one to blame but yourselves. Um... Uh-huh, and you guys bear no responsibility at all, I'm certain. Just wait until I get out of these chains. Father and I will see to it that your head rolls along those three murderous insurgents. Along with the three murders. Oh. So Joseph, Evangeline, and Dorian. Father and I? Edward's dad. Grab the amulet from the noble's neck. Wait! Mistress... I, I, I'm sorry. D don't. Oh. Okay, there he is. Let's go. Infuse Frost. Let's deal with her. Cool Boom. One thing about Infuse Frost, it eliminates Cool Boom. See, that takes away Cool Boom. Which is not as great as using Cool Boon with an Ice Varnish. See, then I can't... I can't just reenact Cool Boon. You know what I mean? So, that's a bit of an issue that I... I don't love. I don't love it. So I would say Ice Varnish with Cool Boon is the better option. Let's get her out here. Come out. Come out here. Mess around with me out here, huh? Or I can dance around. Good. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Good, perfect. Oh, got hit with panic, huh? Oh, no. Yeah. Staggered. Good. Perfect. Drink some water. You don't have the water? To the water before the health runs out. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Whew. Go bandage too.
All right. Let's see if there's any specimens in here. Termit poetage. That's it's always good. That's another. There's that cool potion there that grants cool boon. That's a possibility too. To um, oh, so we're tripling our health. Triple triple stack the health regen. That's cool. Yeah, the the cool potion. So you could infuse frost, you can do cool boon, infuse frost, and then immediately take the potion to reenact the cool boon. So that's an option, but then you just it's another thing to think about. Another thing to make sure you have. Another item weighing down the bag. That's the big thing. Another item weighing down the bag. Um Take the Astro Potion. Not really sure why. I think I already have enough Astro Potions. Yeah, I already a activated that. What's this? Oh, I thought the barrels was maybe a rare, rare specimen node. Alright, let's go back down here and see, just to make sure there's no specimens. Because we're not done with the city building yet. Getting close, getting close, but not done. And brain withdrawal. Dip in. Short term memory. It's a problem at this stage right now. Cali Gray Drawings. They're pretty artistic. Honestly, I didn't I didn't um, think the Cali Grays are that civilized. Lower levels. Nothing. No specimens. Alright. Did I already check this? Mineral tea. That's never a bad find. Hmm, I think I'll go ahead and just sleep right here. Sleep in the bone cage. That way it'll be, it'll be daytime when we travel over to the oil refinery. Plus I can repair. Three and three should do it. I feel like I should fight some other creatures on my way over just to try to work off this. Uh... It's not rust because I just played not that long ago. Like I said, I just need to get into the, a better mentality. Okay. All right, come on now. Let's get over to the oil refinery. Speak to the gin. Got the amulet, right? Doesn't that? I wonder if it. Oh my goodness! Why does that always happen? I'm I'm telling you, the first. I've never been through the caldera where that airship moves on me when I'm. When I'm in it. Never. 
And now three times in this whole play playthrough? And why did it take the Calgary so long to actually attack me? Like I sat there for a little while. We just kind of stared at each other. Some Ambrane right here. <laughs> I wonder why I don't have Ambrane withdrawal right now. Sleeping cure? Because I had taken Ambrain and then I set up the tent. When my stamina buff was gone, you'd think the Ambrain withdrawal would set in. But it never did. Alright. There's the, the factory looking smokestacks out in the distance. That's oil refinery. Mirm. Yeah. Try to get into a better better mindset. Mm. Might as well go warm boon too. Looks like he deals fire damage. I don't know if he actually does. Good. It's always weird to time that one. Mm. I guess if you're close up enough, the head won't the head attack won't hit you. Four raw alpha meats. Crystal powder. Some light cash right there. Point one. Weight and uh, 14 silver. Context, context. 14 silver doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. But crystal powder is kind of in that ghost eyes, ghost eye category of a requirement. A required gathering situation. There's required gathering, okay, ghost size, things like that. There's a required consumption, okay, frosted maze, battered maze maybe falls into that category too. Okay, the oil refinery, there's two parts to it. There's a couple parts to it, an upper and a lower. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how to access both areas. I don't think you can access the gin until you do some things in the upper area. Don't want to fall off and die. That'd be a terrible way to perish. So this is what? Sulfuric stone right there? Sulfuric stone. I know this is like the sulfur mines, then there's, yeah, it must be those sulf sulfuric mushrooms you can gather. Let's go, Ambrain. Ambrain and stamina water, sparkling. Let's get some mana, too. Termit Pottage. Hmm. Just trying to think about burnt mana. Kind of want to get rid of that burnt mana. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll take that. Grant's Cool Boon. Which, I guess we'll use a infused frost again.
Don't hold it. Come on, move it to the bag. Equip those. Let's take a mining pick. Let's drink a marathon potion. Let's take a lot of this stuff, maybe. Take all our good, nice waters. Take our varnishes. Ambrane withdrawal again. I thought I just took Ambrane. Hmm. Strange. Caligrays. We got our cool boon, so let's go. Let's go. Let's infuse frost. Nice rage. That rage will stagger him. Sweet kick will stagger him with rage. Nice. If Rage is not activated, that Sweep Tick Kick will not take down the Caligrees. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Take your time. Good, that didn't hit me up. Good. Nice. Yeah. Step back. Boom. Left hand overhand. Right to the top of the head. Yeah. Take bandages. Refinery upper. Refinery key upper is required. Short term. Short term memory. Gargoyle. Spiritual varnish and Miss Boon. Oh. Wow, dude. Oh, went for the... <laughs> I went for broke right there, just fought through it. Sloppy. Combat is sloppy right now. Dude, this does not bode well. Able tea recipe? I don't I haven't learned it. Oh good, yeah, burnt mana, perfect. Um What? Don't put things inside the corpse. Okay, so access that lever. Yeah, I think there's several levers you have to pull. Here in the upper portion. Dropping deeper down. What do we got? Medis. Ooh. Sounded like he got the attack off, but alas, he didn't. Brain. I 
much I got left on the imbue. 46 seconds. That's enough for this Medis, right? Better be. Good. Let's just stagger these guys. It's pretty much over. Waning tentacle. Don't mine iron. Don't grab straw hats. This is not something you do at this stage in the game. It's filled with oil here, yes. Somehow you gotta bring this oil down. Again, it's the whole lever situation. The thing is I gotta find the levers. I did I hmm. I think I've been everywhere I can be. Have I been everywhere I can be on the upper level? Okay, so. Oh, nice specimen. Totally missed that. Completely missed that. Okay, that's blocked off. Locked off. Blocked off. Everything's blocked. All right, down to the lower level. I don't know what else to say. Don't forget the bag. It's crucial. Okay, so that time I didn't need to take the lantern. I didn't need to transfer the lantern that time. Hmm. I feel like when I... Oh, okay, because it was on the ground. I th okay. I understand. <clears throat> if you equip the backpack from, the, from your inventory, it's not going to equip your lantern on there. But if you swap backpacks with the one that's on the ground, it'll automatically swap your lantern. It's kind of cool. I guess the nobles must have built these. The Sorokin must have built these. Long th the no nobles supervised. Drew up the contract. Da-dum-dums, da-dum-dums, da-dum-dums. Probably where the nobles stayed all day in the shade. While the likes of Joseph Dumas toiled. Constructing the rigs. Okay, so. The lower level of the oil refinery somewhere down here. Kind of a tunnel entrance. <laughs> oh, boy, it's scary. Frightening. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. I'm on the right track. One of the great things about outward exploration games like this, no no map, no quest markers, and you just you, you get to know the land based on the landmarks. You see the Vigil Crystal, the Eldest Brother, and it honestly, you walk around the region enough, and it works with all the regions. And you see things like this in the distance, you immediately know where you are immediately. And uh, it's just so much better, so much better navigating like that than if there was like a star kind of where you're supposed to go and then you just put it on auto walk and then let's go to sleep. Like, honestly, I can't handle that. That's when the game becomes incredibly boring. And I don't know if some of those games you can have the option to toggle off the uh, quest marker. I assume that some of those games do have that option.
Let's keep an eye on this Boreos. While we uh, work through the bag. Generally, I, I hate this bag in bag thing. It's no. It's not something that I love at all, really at all. Um, why am I doing it? I guess that's the question that remains to be answered. No, it's because of samples and things that I want to harvest while I'm out. Maybe I should have just made this particular mission a sampleless, sampleless mission. And brain. Gotta have that. Okay. My equipment doesn't look bad. Thick oil? Maybe I should grab a thick oil just for uh, one, just in case lantern burns out. Oh, palladium, yeah. I always mind that. 15 silver. It's going to be a huge help for the city building. Alright. Cool boon. Warm boon and... Let's go ice varnish. Nice sidestep. Good. The blubbers. Big time. Oh, a little bit of a fight is broken out here. Kind of want to save the Boreo. Save the Boreos. Good. Whoops. Hit the Boreo in the face as I'm trying to... Okay, now we're in a fight. Yeah, that was terrible, trying to save the, the Boreo. Just clocked it. Left hand right to the jaw. Come on. Good. Nice. Way to sidestep. Right hand, backhand. That backhand whip attack. So cool. Love the attack animations of the gauntlets. Why is there a wall preventing me from getting the palladium? Honestly, the, all, all of a sudden I'm standing on air. There's walls preventing me from getting the palladium. What's going on here? Okay, we're fine. Let's get some health regen. Let's get uh, Tor Crab Sandy. That's, um. Oh, it gives us protection too. Wow. Let's drink some of our healing water for fun. Let's drink some of the. Wait, 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 wait. The healing water didn't work. There it goes. Maybe I, um. Uh, hurried it along. I, I spilled it. Oil prevents me from going that way. Hmm. Okay, another lever. Still oil. Okay, so I did that lever, so now now can I go back up to the upper? Is that what they're trying to get me to do? Hmm. Yeah, I've already done that. 
Invisible wall is blocking me. Okay. Good. More turnips. Um, golden jam, sure. Cold stones, kind of want to say sure to that as well. Stamina recovery, burnt stamina. Let's go with this. Stance. Yeah, needle tea. Bringing out, breaking out the old needle tea. It's thick oil. I don't need it. Okay, haven't been down here. Gargoyle. Gargi. Come on, I gotta step up against this guy. Let's go fire. And brain withdrawal. Okay, let's dip into more. Don't let it last. Don't let the withdrawal last. Okay. Good. That's the most important tack to get away from. Perfect. Left hand, overhand to the combos. Good. There's that attack. It's crazy. Good. Perfect. Yes. Deal. Nice. Good. Perfectly executed. Thank you for executing. Uh, actually, I'll take that. Soothing tea for burnt burnt mana purposes. Able tea, yeah. Uh, bread, yes. Take the take the bread off the carcass. Who knows how long the bread's been there? Probably covered in mold. It's totally fine. Mold's actually not bad for you. Microorganisms, probiotics. Okay, got that lever done now. Maybe I can access that lower portion. I mean, this lower portion down here, I think that's where the gene is. Mm hmm. Wait, no, maybe not. Tor crab? It's my worst nightmare. Horror axe recipe? Horror crab is my worst nightmare. It's all right though. Let's get this going. Yeah, yeah, cool boons required. Good. Good. Nice. Dude. Gotta get that attack off. I was trying to get an attack off. Because I had him staggered. I had him. Mmm. A ruined halberd. One of the weapons you can awaken. The silk banner is completely ruined. Could someone restore it to beauty? Oh, silk. Hmm, silk banner. Mana belly potion. Yeah, let's just drink it. Rich iron ore? No, I don't mind from that. For for reasons that are illogical. Man, it's dark, dude. Oh. Okay. Same situation, same room. Hmm. Let me guess. Gonna drop down to the same room. 
Yeah, guess you can. Drop down to the same room. Alright. Hmm, wait, that was it? Okay. Well, back in here, okay. Medesas. Mm, yeah, now we're talking. Gargoyles. Again, we'll go fire varnish. Warm. And proceed to deal. Oh. Never ceases to frighten me, that attack. Come on, don't dodge away like that. Dodge into him, get aggressive with the dodge. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. I guess I'm taking those because they cost 90 silver per... per item. I still got my fire varnish. Get at the Medesas. Okay. Chaos. Chaos sets in. How am I gonna. What am I doing here? What is the. What is the. Oh, why is it so hectic? Good. That's gonna be like 200% more le you know, less hectic after the elimination of one enemy. Good. Requirement. Crystal powder. Blue sand. Waning tentacle. I don't know. I guess. I. At this point, I'm just not sure what what I'm grabbing and why. Refinery key, the depths. Ice varnishes. I mean, might as well. I've got room in the bag. Room in the bag. Loaded up. Weather defense would be valuable for a different build, not this build. Refinery key upper. All right. Good, there's the depths. There's the depths. The gin. Here we go. Okay, so if you fight this guy. Hmm. Question is, what are we gonna go? Gonna go Ambrain. We're gonna do stamina water as well. Might as well do health water. Why not? Boon up. We're not going to do fire varnish. She's weak against smoke. I guess we'll do ice. Nah, I kind of want to do ethereal. He's kind of a spiritual being. Um, let's do shimmer potion. Grants barrier. What else? 
Stealth? No, let's do... Might as well do Stone Flesh. Yeah, we popped Discipline and Rage already. Guess we'll do this too. Elemental Resistance. Spiritual. Alright, dude. I need your help. We need you to move the ember heart. Move the ember heart. That sounds an awful lot like work. I've worked hard enough already. Our people will suffer without your help. If you won't leave, then I'll make you leave. Wait, I thought he was. Hmm. For some reason, I thought he was big. Doesn't he get big? Dude, what are you doing? Just taking beatings. Come on now. Dude, this is pathetic. Pathetic, Bill. I'm gone. No, I'm holding an anchoring amulet. You can't turn into smoke and flee. You're staying right here until I'm done with you. Oh, and you've got the stupid amulet too. Now, I'm actually mad. Whoa, here we go. Uh, <laughs> How do you like me now, puny human? Hmm. Get out. Now I gotta, okay, here we go. Now I gotta kill him again, I guess. Okay, let's, let's reboot up. Let's go spiritual again. Let's go shimmer again. Let's go discipline and rage. Let's go, I guess, stamina, water. Um, we'll take that. All right, I'm ready for it. Round two. Let's go. I warned you. You've made the wrong choice today, little Have kid. I? Okay, he's got ethereal blast after the punk. Okay. He's got that thing that he throws out there. It's fine. Good. Those. And the blast. Perfect. Good. Nice. Come on, stagger. Good. Nice. What is he doing? He's just waiting for me to stagger him again. Okay. Pretty much fights. Like when he's big, he fights exactly like he does when he's small. Just waits for me to stagger. Finally, he got me. Come on. Good. Perfect. Good. Come on. What are you doing? Get to him. Get to him and end him. Yeah, there you go. What? What now? Come on now. I have demands. Tell you what, I'll move your stupid burning rock if you promise you'll break the amulet when I'm done. Now, will you leave me alone? That's all I actually wanted from you, so yeah. Um, I have you at my mercy now. Maybe I want more from you. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have you at my mercy now. Maybe I want more from you. Actually, that's all I wanted, so yeah. This and be gone with you. Take this lamp too. Consider it a bribe never to bother me ever again. 
So I think that lamp, you get it too, if you, if you demand. If you say, I want something more from you, maybe. He, he gives you the lamp too, so. I guess you get the lamp no matter what. You have made a powerful enemy. Fine, fine, I'll go move that stupid heavy thing for you. I'll meet you back at your settlement. The Jin's lamp added. When held in hand, helps protect the wielder from status ailments. Can be refilled with thick oil. See, that's the problem. When held in hand, attach this lantern. Cool. So it doesn't give you status. It helps protect from status ailments. When held in the hand, though, so since it's on the bag, it doesn't do anything. Does it illuminate? Doesn't look like it really illuminates anything. I guess it kind of does. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. It's kind of cool. You know what? I need, I need Timmy. Come on, Timmy. I realized he left me. When you exit the game, quit to desktop and stuff, he, he uh, pets leave. Yeah, Timmy, you should have been there for that fight. I wanted to have you along. I've wanted to have you along this whole time. I forgot about you. Sorry about that, dude. You deserve better. Keep up. Keep up. Oh, molting specimens. I already got my digested stone, though, so... Do I care about molting? I still do. Ambrain withdrawal and I don't have Ambrain. That's a problem. Restore some burnt stamina. Drink some sparkling water for stamina, stamina buff. Yeah, Timmy. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I've got the I've got the greasy tea. Ambrain withdrawal. Yeah, Timmy's, it's okay to be uh, withdrawal, you know, going through withdrawal with Timmy there. He encourages me. Alright. Yeah, Jin's lamp, actually, it, it does just as well as the other one. Just as well as Explorer, I think. So, yeah, let's roll with it. Dude, Jin, honestly, Jin didn't stand a chance. Come on, Timmy, where are you? Keep up, keep up. And then, then it attached my other lantern for some reason. I wanted to keep Jin's lantern attached. Jin kind of let me just stagger him over and over multiple times. Hmm. No fall damage. Good. Let's get back to the settlement. Let's explain to Evangeline what what went down. Actually, I think Jin might already be there. Jin might beat us there with the Ember Heart in hand. There's Timmy respawning because he falls behind.
I feel like the arc is never, the arc's never over that northern loading dock. Which is where you can access the lower level. I just, I keep waiting for it to be over there. It's never there. Timmy, you making it down okay? Dude, yeah. Whoa, is this gonna... Oh, I'm not that far from... Yeah, okay. You gonna be okay, Timmy? Nice. Good, good. He's rolling. It's another loading dock right here. Come on, bud. I want you by my side the rest of the playthrough. Gets lonely out in Sirocco. Gets lonely. Need a companion. Mm, 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 mm. There it is. How many times do I have to say it? I'm not even going to say it. And enjoy it. It's best at night, too. It's best at night. You should be able to see the Ember Heart from here, kind of hovering above the new settlement. Just gonna check over here just for these this rare node that I think they they used to spawn over here back before updates, but I think they don't spawn it here anymore. But I just wanted to try to be sure. So when I go through here, I want to kind of check that area. Really going through a big backstory of explaining myself with that. Sorry. Dude, got it done. Jin was um, kind of a pushover. I don't remember him being like that. <clears throat> the Ember Heart. Dude. What's up, man? Greetings, friend. What do you think of the Ember Heart? What was it like when they installed it? Tell me about it. Can you, can you kind of dictate? the events. He had a perfect view of them setting it up. He doesn't want to speak. He doesn't want to volunteer any information. Nice. Yeah, what do you think, Tim? Hmm. Timmy's trying to run off the cliff. Let's not let him do that. Let's go bring word to Evangeline. Of course, she already knows. She already knows the events. Let's just go report. There's the gin. What is he? He's a, uh, yeah, he's an elephant, obviously. Ah, well done. Well, you did it. The djinn has just planted the Ember Heart down for us, cursing us all the while. The djinn is super abrasive. Be honest with me, just how badly did you savage the poor thing? Let's see, it was a pretty even fight, all things considered. I think I got off worse than him. He's vicious when he's mad. Um, let's just, let's not disrespect him in front of people. Let's just say it was a pretty even fight. The djinn showed up right on time with the Ember Heart. With total temperature control, we can increase the heat of our furnaces, while keeping our living quarters a bearable temperature. I need you to listen. Good, good. We can handle six specialized buildings. That's what I wanted to hear. 
it kept telling me I couldn't build any more specialized buildings when I was trying to lay the food store down. Go see Joseph about setting them up like you're used to. Yes, yes, good for you. I've done my part. Now do as you promised. Free me from the amulet. Yes, I will. It's all right, friend. I'll take care of it right now. The magma below the town ought to do just fine. Ah, oh, sweet release. A two centuries long migraine. Lifted. I thank you, humans. Now never ask anything of me ever again. Let me enjoy my peace and quiet. I'm glad we set him free. The poor thing sounds like he's suffered enough already. Yeah. It's a shame we had to let him go. Really? Why would I say that? Have you heard this guy speak? His attitude? You want that attitude around the settlement? So much negativity? I won't let us walk the same path our nobles did. We need to work together out of solidarity, not fear. Cooperation for mutual benefits is the most effective way to accomplish long-term success. Oi! Over here! What do you need? We've got samples. Let's see about those mineral samples. Stones. We owe you one. Classic. Classic. Now, what critters did you scrounge up for us? Excellent! Another digested mana stone, when I didn't need it. Here's what we need. Get it done. Okay, so, food store. Can handle six specialized buildings. How many funds? I gotta sell some things, get some funds into the, uh, account. That's the big thing. So, what's on the agenda today? I only have twenty-two ninety-five minus ninety-five per day. <laughs> because of what? The upgrade? The upgrade to the water purifier? How can I help you? Added more uh, cost to the city, I guess. All right, dude. Sell some things. Hexastones, what are they? I've never done anything with these besides sell them. You must use them for like Chalcedony weapons or some kind of a hail frost weapons, one of the special weapons. <clears throat> the refinery had nothing in it, as far as loot goes. Doesn't have any ornate chests. Sell some of these. That was a terrible haul. A terrible haul. Sell four cold stones because I only have one live weedy. Um. <laughs> wow. It's terrible. How can I help you? Zero funds. Zero silver to my name. It's totally fine. Zero silver to my name. Okay, we've got digested mana stone. Food store. Yep. I want to do it. Looks like we have the funds to do it, too. It only costs 3,000? The footprint. The footprint on these buildings. It's just outrageous. Outrageously big. Hmm. Where am I going to put this food store? Dude, are you kidding me? You're still doing this? Look, there's healing. There's healing water in the water of life. Fountain of life. Here. I'll drop one of my precious water skins. Healing water. Use it. Use it. Use it liberally. That's big right there for me to drop a water skin. Oh. There we go. Nice. Yes. Digested mana stone. Completed in 13 days. 
Yeah, Timmy's happy about it. So am I, Tim. That's completed in 13 days, phase one. <clears throat> I'm basically losing 100 funds per day. How can I help you? So, 1,300 funds. I guess I, I can make it. I still have enough to make it. I need to loot. I need to go looting one more time, though. Not one more time. So, what are we working on today? Hmm. What's the journal say? Speak with Evangeline about construction. Hmm. I think I need loot. I think I need silver. Speedrun dungeons. Old Sirocco again, 3,000 silver. Ugh, it's a slog, dude. Um, whatever the case may be, we'll think about it. We'll think about it for the next time. Dude, I'm stoked about the Ember Heart. Come on, Timmy, let's check it out. We got the food store up and running, exactly what I needed. That'll finally produce some funds for us. Maybe I should get the Alchemist Shop up and running too, to be honest. Petrified organs. Yeah, let's get our petrified organs. We got them in the stash. Because that's going to give us another 100 funds per day. Petrified organs. What? No? Doesn't work? Uh, footprint issues. <laughs> Has anyone made a city that's like looks actually good as far as footprint planning? I'm not gonna lie, the water purifier might be my favorite building. That tree, because it's got that tree in the back. That's what I'm looking for, dude. In the city, in the settlement, trees that look nice like that. This is hopeless. Why am I even doing this? Why? <laughs> Why am I doing that? Could build it down here next to the hunting lodge. Oh, that's a cool building. Kind of into it. I want to get a good look at it as you're running down the hill towards it. Nice. Perfect. 13 days. I'm going to have to collect a bunch of silver. Oh, we got this here too. The, the Sorokin Mines. So this is the lower level. I don't know if I've taken you guys down here yet. In this playthrough. So we got some cool things going on here. There's the elevator, it's under construction. That'd be nice to get that built. This is a cool little magma flow right here. I wish you could build your own little personal house. Tuck it right back here in this corner. A little hut. That'd be fun. Instead, we have to kind of call the city hall our home. That's uncomfortable. There's no comfort in the city hall living there. Can you imagine living in the city hall in your own town? It's miserable, kind of cold. Kind of a grocery store floor material. I guess it could be nice tile, that's a possibility. 
green mush common mushrooms are down here. That's kind of big. Iron, rich iron that we don't mine from anymore. Blood mushrooms, blister burrow flashbacks. More rich iron. I should probably mine from that actually. <laughs> It'd probably give us like some silver, a medium ruby, something like that. This guy's going away, continuing to mine. Secret chasm back in there. It's beautiful back in there, you can tell. So that actually opens up. It opens up. Cool, a little plan table with blank plans. Okay. Sounds like no one has a plan. Again, the nice magma flow. Why am I going up here again? Oh, mole pigs. I was wondering if a specimen spawned in here. It does. That's that's actually big. It's actually, yeah, that's extremely large. Stamina? Wow. Stamina issues. sparkling water yeah so if the elevator is working you just hop right on head right up you gotta go the long way around all right so we got the food store up and up and going as far as construction Phase one, that'll provide 100 funds per day, 40 food. The alchemist shop is also up and running. That'll provide it's the enchantment guild. Huh? The alchemist shop will provide 100 funds as well. That way, we're actually taking in a net of 100. Because right now we're losing 100. So 100 lost, you know, plus 200 gained equals 100. Mathematics. Let's talk about math. Is this a... Okay, this is where you have, like, city hall meetings and things like that. Alright. It's a good spot to stop it. Timmy's excited again. Good to have you back, Timmy. Sorry I've left you for the last couple of episodes. He doesn't want to be in the spotlight. He keeps wanting to hide behind me. There he goes. Yeah, show yourself. Don't be shy. Do you have pupils or just yellow orbs? He just has yellow orbs for eyes. Yeah. It's actually a little bit disturbing when someone doesn't have pupils. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We're getting real close. Final phase right here. Getting real close. And I'll see you on the next video. We'll loot some more dungeons. This is the Caldera. Will. Bye.